Hey, this is Brett and this 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland is stock number 23J179A. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Grand Cherokee headquarters. This 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop per the state of Wisconsin inspection process. It has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and this Jeep is 100% ready to go. It is just about as loaded up as you can get on these Grand Cherokees. I'm gonna go over all the options all the way around inside, start it up, take a look under the hood and just give you the most accurate representation that I can of the vehicle. Baltic gray metallic is the color. I show all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever-changing and vast Jeep inventory here at Summit Automotive. This one comes with the 20 inch painted and polished aluminum wheels and it has Bridgestone Acopia tires. These are 265 50R20s. And I would say that they have probably about 80 to 90% of the tread left on them. This is a one owner, clean title history, clean Carfax from right here in Wisconsin. Front fender is absolutely perfect. No dents or dings in there. You get the LED headlamps, LED running lights, and LED fog lamps. I will turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. You get the front bumper parking sensors as well as the chrome tow hooks. You also get the chrome trimmed seven slotted grill and the chrome trim Jeep lettering. The hood is in excellent condition. Didn't see any dents, didn't see any major dings. Passenger side front fender is in excellent condition as well. And the passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. Baltic gray metallic has just a little bit of metal flake to it. Not quite as much as the granite crystal, but just a little bit. It's got a lot of different colors in it, blues and purples when you really get up close, but a really good looking gray. As you go down this side of this 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you're far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the vehicle, hear the vehicle, and have confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision, decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video it was helpful and that Brett sent you. Back wheel is in excellent condition as well. Four wheel disc brakes. Back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. And this one does have the four corner air suspension on it as well. Coming around to the back, you get the LED tail lamps, the backup parking sensors, the towing package with the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring, and you get the chrome tipped dual rear exhaust. We do have the cover for that hitch. The rear gate is in excellent condition. It is a power lift gate. And the back storage area is very nice and clean. There's that hitch cover right there. We keep those inside so they don't go missing. You also get the factory subwoofer and you get the mural right there of the different generations of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. That's pretty cool. Etched into the window there. You get the spare tire with the jack tools in there as well and some other storage areas. And then to get this gate down, you press that button. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Coming down the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side, no major dents, dings on the rear quarter. Looks really good. And for full disclosure, this back wheel is just as nice as the rest, no scuffs or scrapes on there. This one does have the capless fuel fill, which is a great feature, never get gas on your hands again. And down the rest of this side of the vehicle, doors look really good. It does have the blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, built-in directional signals, and uh, the enter and go system. Let's take a quick look at the back seats. Second row bench seating back here. You get the latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. These seats do fold down for extra storage and they go down really nice and flat. 
You also get the Fire TV dual screens back here, which is a really cool feature. Those seats go up like so. They also, you can see they recline quite a bit as well. And that's how much they recline. Back here are your rear air controls. 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and your heated seat buttons. These seats are heated on the outboard side. You also get the shades back here, which would be great, especially if you got kids that ride it back here a lot. The wood grain trim on the doors and child safety locks on the back of the doors. On the back doors, I should say. Inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good. Up front, we have the gray leather bucket seats. No rips or tears on these guys. You get the Overland embossed into the backrest. Seats are in great shape. Both these front seats are heated and cooled and massage and memory. Factory floor mats, auto headlamps. You get the power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. Power windows, locks and mirrors. Memory driver seat, there's the massage seat. It has the Macintosh. Premium sound system and to get these mirrors in, you just turn that down. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this one has to offer on the interior. You can see this one has 14,786 miles on it. You get the 12 inch LCD display on there. This one has night vision as well, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, digital speedometer on there as well. And there's the, your night vision. So that's a kind of a, a real video of what's in front of you, but for night vision. So you can see at night. So that's really cool. And the instrument cluster is very nice and clean. You get an outside temperature and compass display up there as well. Comes with the heated leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise controls, lane keep assist. Your information and Bluetooth controls on the left, audio controls in the back of the steering wheel, and your paddle shifters up there. You get the wood grain trimmed with the black accent on their leather wrap steering wheel, and that's in fantastic condition. You get the Uconnect 10.1 Uconnect 5 radio. Uh, this one has the factory navigation system on it. There is Highway 41, so that is working nicely. It's supposed to be five times faster than the old radios. You also get your climate controls on here, including your dual climate controls, your heated and cooled seat buttons, and then you also have your radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, as well as Bluetooth, AUX, USB, and Alexa hookups on here as well. And then uh, for the rear system entertainment, uh, listen in, you can turn those on as well. There's so much stuff to go over on this radio. Uh, you get all these different apps on here. We could go through this for hours. There are your massage seats, which is a really cool feature. Um, you can do the waterfall, lower back extend, low extend, and rock climb. So different settings that you can do. Really cool stuff. And then you have your nav. A lot of this stuff is just... Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, which I believe are wireless. And then you have your ambient lighting, which is really cool as well. Your off-road pages. And then, of course, your surround view camera and your front camera or your rear view camera right there. You can see just how crystal clear that image is around. You can see what our picture studio looks like. You get a wide view of the back, a wide view of the front, a narrow view of the front, and then just your regular backup camera. So you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time, and you can zoom in on that receiver hitch for even better results. And then you get your trail cam right here with the dynamic grid lines. So you can see that as I turn the steering wheel, those lines change, which is really helpful, especially if you're off-roading. You don't want to hit a rock and wreck your wheels, or you maybe want to hit a rock at a certain angle and that's kind of the future of where your wheels are going to be. And you can clean the camera right there, so that's pretty cool. That's working nicely. You get your start-stop capabilities, lane departure, stability control, hazard lights, parking sensors, and the passenger side screen. Yes, this does have the passenger side screen. I told you this thing had just about every option available. Um, so you can plug in an HDMI right there, and you could potentially play video games on there and stuff. And there's also controls for different parts of the radio if the passenger wants to control all that. Let's see what else we have. Have these 
apps right there and that that's everything with this vehicle for the radio down here is your wireless cell phone charge pad more tactile volume tune and climate controls your heated and cooled seat buttons heated steering wheel controls two usbs two usb c's and an aux jack and that's where you would hook up your hdmi for that passenger screen you get your different settings on here for rock sand snow mud or rock sand mud snow and auto and sport that's sport is where you'd use the paddle shifters and this is your different ride height so you can raise it to normal ride height entry exit mode um, lowered mode and then it has uh, off-road mode one and off-road mode two so a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this radio or this four-wheel drive system I should say neutral setting for flat towing and four-wheel drive low here are your keyless entry here's your keyless entry this vehicle does have two key fobs, uh, remote start and power lift gate. And the passenger side format and seat are in excellent condition as well. This vehicle's never been smoked in. The headliner's in great shape. Second row fixed glass, power sunroof in front, map lights, assist and SOS buttons, and sunroof and sunshade controls. This one also has the rear view mirror camera, so that is a video display of what's going on behind you. And you can turn that off, make it just a normal rear view mirror or you can turn it on like that. You can brighten it, lower it, and raise it. Also has the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. And last but not least, it does have the heads up display as well. Like I said, I don't think you could get any other options in this vehicle, maybe all weather formats or something, but this thing is completely loaded up. Let's start it up and take a look under the hood and check out all those LED lights in the front. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. Now that was a lot to go through and I wish I could show you the ambient lighting because that is really cool. Um, but basically it lights up underneath the dash and the door trim panels and it is really cool. Let me see if I can get it here one second. So there are the different colors you can do. Yeah, you can't see it. It's too bright in here. I apologize, but uh, it is a really cool feature when it's when you can see it. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. I know it was a little bit longer, but that's because this vehicle has so many options on it. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. I hope it was helpful so that you could tell just how clean this vehicle is inside and out. You got the, all those LED lights, which are very bright. And under the hood, we have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again, this Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop. Has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and this vehicle is 100% ready to go. There is the emissions sticker. And I would highly recommend this Grand Cherokee from a quality and condition standpoint. I don't think you'll find a more optioned out Overland in this nice of condition anywhere with these miles. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees, Wagoneers, Grand Wagoneers, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. If you want to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle walkarounds on YouTube and county, 9,000 videos and probably almost 10,000 by now. In fact, any second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland in Baltic gray metallic with just about every option that you could get. And uh, thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a great night.